the new sanctions have hit some Russian banks. They've hit Russian airlines. Um, you know, they're, they've hit a couple of individuals. They're better than the ones that went before, but they're still not nearly big enough. If we're going to change Putin's mind, we really need to cut him out of the international financial system. And that means taking far more ambitious steps than we've taken so far. I want to see the people who have got rich from Putin's rule. These are his close friends, his associates. I want to see them realizing that he is not going to make them rich anymore. They need to be sanctioned. Their family members need to be sanctioned because often they hide their wealth behind family members and they need to see their wealth, their net worth collapse. If we can change their calculation, so Putin is no longer someone who can make them profits, but is someone who causes them losses, then they may start putting pressure on him to change course. Judging by how Mr. Putin is behaving and how irrationally he is speaking, I don't think any sanctions would have made any difference in the last week, two weeks, three weeks. However, it is possible to change the calculation in future and in fact to degrade Russia's ability to continue to take this kind of aggressive action in future as well. So sanctions won't work in the short term. They might not even work in the medium term, but at the same time, they're the right thing to do because they are a way of preventing Russia from being able to take this kind of aggressive action against its neighbors in future. So what we need to do is have proper transparency on ownership so we can see who owns what in our capital city to expose which oligarchs own things. We need to expose the true owners of the shell companies that are being used to launder cash. And above all, we need to give proper resourcing to our law enforcement agencies. It's not enough just to rebrand some office as a kleptocracy unit. We need a genuine, well-resourced, well-motivated law enforcement agency, which is specifically aimed at financial crime. It, it will hit the top end of the property market. That's absolutely true if these people stop buying property in London. And that is going to cost us a bit of money. But in the long run, we will end up with a more secure economy, with a more robust democracy, and also we'll have done the right thing.